Hello, thank you for joining me on what could possibly be a quite awkward repotting, but I can't wait anymore. This is my Cattleya leopoldii. I have been procrastinating with the repot because it's been so, so windy and I wanted to do this on camera because a leopoldii has been part of my journey of since I started this channel and this is the replacement orchid. And me putting it off, this leaf was facing the wrong way. I didn't see scale on it. And look, there's still some left. Look at the damage it's done to this leaf. So I have to get in C or C, wind or no wind. And I've tried to find myself a nice little calm corner of my patio here on the west side. We'll see how it goes. If not, this becomes a voiceover. Well, first of all, I want to repot this because clearly Yes, she could stay in here in another year, but I want this pot for my newcomers, my imports, my Rapiculus lalias. They all kind of have a uniform pot, and this is one of them. So she might as well go into a new pot, and as she is growing those roots, oh, I don't even, you know, when I saw the nubbins, that's when I should have repotted, but it's been really, really bad. Weather wind-wise, I'm not saying it's been too cold, it's just been so windy. So I don't have any opportunity to really do something about this until now. I've just had enough because seeing that scale, it just, no, it's got to be happened now. And I hope that I can do a decent repot on camera with a Leopoldii that I've always, always wanted in my collection. And this would be the replacement from another one that never ever made it. And we can get rid of this bark, which is great. Now, be very, very careful. It is a bifoliant, but I did wait for new roots to start. We have some dead roots that I can trim off. That's good. But I need to do a good wash and clean up of the leaves as well while we're at it. So first I'm going to snip off the old roots and then we'll clean her up and get her potted up into something a little bit bigger for more years. I have been waiting 10 days to do this. Honestly, I have not had such an extended period of time with such strong wind for so long. Wow, last year I was moaning about my little gale force winds that I got and it's like they have become a permanent feature, but all the time. It's not just a sudden two minute gale, no. It's constant. I had maybe one or two days of respite and it felt like heaven because I wasn't having to chase around the patio like a mad woman with my sprayer to keep my orchids from turning into oregano. I'm going to wash all these sheaths off, really get in there because anything scale wise, boy, oh boy. And like I said, I don't like having my roots already extended to this length. The minute I saw the first nubbin, I wanted to go for it. And then I just left it because, yeah, I want to film it as well. This orchid is a, something of importance on my channel. If you've been here from the start, you know me and Leopoldii's, or Tigrinas as they're called now. I love them, and I've had a feeling that they hated me, which was not the case. It turns out that my, that my first Leopoldii, it turns out it had Fusarium, and I thought it was me. But we finally said goodbye to the first Leopoldii pot at the beginning of this season when it was just declining and declining. So I've been, before the repot, I've really gone to town. I mean, I'm gonna lose this leaf. But I went to town with alcohol. I protected the root tips. Where I could, I used my hand to cup the leaf and then just sprayed with a lot of alcohol. And where I couldn't, I used a paintbrush and saturated that paintbrush to such a degree it was dripping and then I attacked the areas that could have scale on them or scale residue. So I wanna get these sheaths off. I cannot believe it, I tell you, I cannot believe it. Because if scale gets into this area down here, 
I hope you can see that from the light. These new growths down here, if the scale gets down in there, you can say goodbye because this being a little seedling cattleya, it's, it's not strong enough to counteract and then start another new growth. This has to be babied to such a degree that it has absolutely no stress interference from any kind of pest. You see there is some scale down here. I hope you can see that. I'll try and zoom in on the editing. And we'll deal with that right now. This is not the garlic infused alcohol. I will paint the whole orchid with the garlic infused alcohol once it is potted up and dried off. That gives me some, like a week's protection. The essential oils of the garlic will do some repelling action for me. It looks like the new growth is okay. I don't see any signs. You see these little black bite marks here? Yeah, that, that's where they've been sitting. Can't risk that. So I just took the part I broke off, my paintbrush, because I have two different paintbrushes. One's a little bit more harder bristles where I can scrape the scale off. But in this case, I don't want to go back and forth. I did break the back end of my paintbrush off so that I can do a little bit of a gentle scraping action against where the scale could be if I can't get rid of it just by using the bristles. Alcohol is a desiccating agent, clearly. That's why we use it. So I don't want the root tips, even if I don't think I got any alcohol on them. I don't want to think, I want to be sure and give it a really good rinse before potting her up. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to really keep an eye on this one now. Right, let's get her potted up. I hope I got to that in time. I really, really do. It's been a long process. Leopoldi, I and myself. I have an itty bitty little support here that I'm going to put in. It's not tall according to what the orchid's potential is, but it'll be enough for me to train any growths that I may need to train if my light training doesn't work. You can see that previously, I had her in mixed leka, big, small, all mixed up together, but it was a very small pot. So I'm going up from an eight centimeter, I'm going up to a 15 centimeter, which is excessive literally excessive if you were thinking about doing this every year and potting up your orchid just one pot size up. That is too much, but this orchid is a big one and I'm anticipating hopefully just to have her in this pot for two years total. That's the plan anyway. If I have to intervene next year, then that's fine too. But the plan is two years, I don't want to be bothering her. So I'll take some Lekka out because I don't want her that high in the pot. She's not a climber per se. She has climbing tendencies. Just gently wiggling her into position. Because once she's in that position, I don't want to be moving her again. All right, so initially I thought maybe she is too unstable in the pot, but that was only because of the water helping everything float and be a little bit more buoyant. At this point, I do not need to put my support into action. It could, it's fine. But what I am going to do right here is keep a little bit of the area around the roots bare of Lekka making sure that I can get them to grow down into the lecker before 
I fill up around the roots once they're long enough. With the hot, dry air I'm currently experiencing, I would much rather be able to mist with my sprayer around the base to keep this nice and humid. She can tolerate that currently with the hot, dry air. But what cannot happen is those root tips drying out by me not getting there quick enough and then desiccating against the lecker while the lecker is drying out on the top. I have one root hugging that nice bit of lecker, but I've been managing to keep that alive up to now. And I'm hoping to do that with the rest of them as well. So we'll just fill up the pot with just plain RO water. She's had quite a substantial spraying this morning because I couldn't exactly soak her. I didn't know if I was going to film. I didn't tape up the holes as you could normally could, tape up the semi-hydro holes and then fill up the pot so this was all a little bit like, get in there, get in there now, regardless of what the weather condition is. Film it so that I can document it as Leopoldia and I are a part of history. I know this looks precarious, but where she's going, she will not be moved. And you see that little white dot there? Yeah. They should be dead by now. The way I nuked them when I saw this and pulled her out of the shelf, it was pretty substantial. Me and Leopoldii, goodness me. Fingers crossed that we got to it on time. It's now just a question of being vigilant, aware that this has started to happen and get ahead of it, stay on top of it and not let them come back. I really appreciate your time for watching this. It's a little bit of an impromptu quick repot, up pot of my Leopoldii. But when I saw that scale, I was like, okay, it's now or never. I hope that everything was somewhat in focus. I can hardly see the screen, but uh, that's not important. Important is that everything was in focus for you. Your time is very much appreciated. Fingers crossed that this is not gonna be one for the history books. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Really appreciate you. Sorry about the mess in the background. <laughs> Take care and stay safe. Bye.